Hey there YouTube, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I I just want to say whoever was viewing my uh, video on Alpha and Omega the deleted scene, I want to thank you. You made, whoever was viewing it has made the most popular video I ever had. So I want, just want to thank you to the four, five subscribers that came out of that. And I'm actually making this video because one of my subscribers um, left me a comment to make another video so I'm gonna make this for him so I know I haven't done one in a while so my, my I'm gonna see if I could do like maybe one or two today I'm not sure but definitely a, I'm gonna be doing a, a review of my the my HTC hero and I'm thinking maybe my Samsung DDP uh, 1590 Blu-ray player and maybe my, I haven't done it yet maybe my HP uh, desktop computer I'm not sure but definitely my phone I'm gonna be doing a review of today uh, the Blu-ray player and the computer I'm not sure but definitely a review of my phone so hey there everybody it's Scooby-Doo Crypto and let me get to my review of my phone now I just want to say I've had my phone since May. The only reason I haven't done it because at the time I didn't have my computer so it was very hard to do a review of the phone and even when I got my computer I just haven't think, thought about doing it. But today I really don't have nothing to review other than my phone, maybe my Blu-ray player, maybe my computer itself. So, let me get into my review of my HTC Hero running Android 2.1. Alright, then. As you can see, it's, it's the first one HTC was using the Sense User Interface. Let me see if you can get a good view of that. It's on Sprint's network. Um, yeah, I mean, the phone's okay. I've been using it for a while. Only thing I've noticed, because I guess I'm running the older version of Android now, that the YouTube app and a couple of applications seem to be tend to be slow, but the phone is only running a, a 528 megahertz processor, which would be, I think, Snap, I think is Snapdragon. I think it's a Snapdragon processor, so it's going to be tend to be slower than like the Evo and the later phones that are running a one megahertz processor, gigahertz processor. This is running megahertz. Uh, this is generally the 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 look of the phone. They got your your talk your talk um, button right here. Got your menu button right here. I know it's hard to see. Uh, the buttons won't light. Hold. Um, your home button right here. Your back button and your search button. Your end and a a uh, scroll. I mean a um, scroll pad. I mean a um, trackball. You got the your volume rockers or volume toggles right here. This is your sync and charge port. Your micro, I think mini or micro USB. I think it's mini, not micro. Micro is the small one that they use now. Uh, nothing on this side. The front is just a 3.5 um, head, 3.5 headphone jack, and then you got a 5 point megapixel camera with no flash, and also the speaker grill around it. And this is a Google, a Google phone. Uh, like I said, uh, you can customize with with uh, widgets and stuff. I just happen to have nothing on there. I just like, I'm actually one of the people who actually just likes to see a plain screen. But 
I've had other sen uh, um, sense the sense user interface allows you to have multiple um, things so if I go to my scenes I can change it to where like this one Hold on, let me pause it for a second and get this up so you're not seeing the, it load up. I am back, YouTube. I just, like I said, I just didn't want you to see the process of it, of it loading up and it would take a while. So I want to keep this video more about the phone. As you can see, I changed the Sense user interface or Sense as HTC calls it. Uh, you could change pictures, wallpapers, and stuff like that, as well as your your scent, as your 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 scents or scenes, as they call it. Uh, you have assorted widgets that you could put on it. Like right now, this one happens to have my picture uh, widget and calendar and control, and then time and weather widget. Uh, this one has your bookmarks, clock. Uh, desk clock, internet, maps, YouTube, uh, music, but I actually don't have any music on this phone anymore because uh, only that I'll get into that in a few seconds. I just want to. Um, you got like seven home pages that you could choose from on this phone. If you tap the home button. You could see all your uh, um, wallpapers and your widgets and stuff, and then you could either just tap it to go to it, or or pinch it, and then it will go to that to that uh, page. Uh, there's some phones that use it now. I think like nine, like the Samsung. I think most of the phones now that Android has use either has seven or maybe even eight um, home screens that you could customize but uh, the sense user interface was the first one to have actually seven home screens running off of on top of and uh, uh, Android most of the phones at the time only had just had plain Android so you would have just like three home screens to customize the sense user interface was the first one to have seven and other phones came out cop followed with like five or six and now some I even have seven I think even some may even have eight uh, but the HTC Sense user interface is the first one to actually have seven home screens to customize uh, likes this phone is very uh, great I mean I like that it's snappy I wish like um, because of the processor now it's outdated kind of I mean the process is great, it's snappy, it's quick, the the Snapdragon processor is nice, but as you can see there's a lot of lag, like if I was swiping on my iPod it's quick. Um, web pages come up pretty good, it's good that, that Android uses Flash, that's the only thing that I like about Android that versus like why I don't. Plus, I'm not on the network to get the iPhone, but if I was, I probably wouldn't get the iPhone anyway. I just don't see the point of the iPhone. But, that's my opinion, don't. I don't want to start a hate for... I like Apple products, I love their... I love their products, so... I just... Uh, it's... Um, I think... I think Apple products are good. They're great, actually, I mean... Uh, eventually, I might switch networks and go for an iPhone, I don't know. Or I might just stay on Android. I mean, the, the likes, I, it's nice. It's the first really smartphone I've ever had. I've had le uh, a few others, but uh, pretty good. Um, I really do have to make this, I think I've got 15 or 12 minutes to do a review, so I don't want it to be too long. So, dislikes. Um, one of the reasons I chose to get an iPod, other than the, the reason of the music, of the, um, of, of the, 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 
the uh, digital copy of Alpha and Omega is because with with this phone, I don't know if it's just this phone or any Android phone. It seems to go to the volume of the phone itself. That's the only complaint I really about have about this phone. That when when listening to music that you put on your phone, it go to the exact same volume of the phone, which is some in case good. But if you like to listen to a lot of bass and then no basics basic move music phones can have better like control with the volume of not of the same with the phone like the the media volume of the phone is the same volume of the like a ringer or it just goes the same it doesn't go any louder than that and that's one of the reasons I decided to get an mp3 player but it was the reason I got an iPod is because of the digital copy of Alpha and Omega that needed to be on iTunes um what else I think that's really it again I want to say thank you to all the the friends that I've gotten on YouTube I also want to say thank you to the five subscribers I also want to say whoever commented on my videos I appreciate it whoever viewed especially that making uh, the Alpha and Omega um, deleted deleted scene on YouTube very popular I appreciate it um, again just like I said comment um, subscribe uh, and that's about it I think that's the only review I'm gonna be doing today I'm really tired just got back from work so I want to thank uh, everybody on YouTube and everybody peace out this is Scooby-Doo Crypto A.K.A. Chris, have a nice day.